clouds. We are all very familiar with clouds. Clouds come in all shapes, sizes, and colors, depending on the time of day and their composition. But how do clouds form? Clouds form when rising air is cooled to its dew point. That is the point at which the air becomes saturated. Water vapor cools and condenses into water droplets. They form on tiny dust particles, ice, and salt. As millions of droplets form, a cloud begins to take shape. There are several types of clouds, but in this presentation, we will learn about four of the major types of clouds. Cirrus, stratus, cumulus, and cumulonimbus, plus the weather conditions that each is associated with. The first type of cloud is cirrus. Cirrus clouds are high-level clouds that form more than 20,000 feet above the ground. They are composed mostly of ice crystals because they are at such high elevations. Cirrus clouds are typically thin, wispy, and feathery in appearance and are usually associated with fair weather. They often are indicators that rain or snow will fall within several hours. Cirrus clouds are mostly white, but can appear in many beautiful colors at sunrise or at sunset. The second type of cloud is stratus. They are smooth gray clouds that often appear as layers that cover the sky. They are composed mostly of water droplets, but can be made of ice crystals when the temperature is cold enough. You can easily identify stratus clouds when it is overcast, and many times they are a sign of light rain or drizzle. The third type of cloud is cumulus. Cumulus clouds are white and fluffy with flat bottoms. These are the clouds that you see shape in the shapes of animals and objects. They're usually associated with fair weather, but when they get larger and darker on the bottom, they be can become cumulonimbus clouds. The fourth type of cloud. These clouds are likely to produce thunderstorms and when conditions are right for them to grow, they can become part of a supercell, which can produce violent thunderstorms and tornadoes. Clouds can be beautiful and peaceful, and they can be beautiful and frightening, depending on the weather conditions that they are part of. So enjoy the beauty of clouds but pay attention to their signs of what's to come.